I'm Jared Deanda, and this is Snap-on Tools Great Garages. Send it. We're here at Sheepy Race, where they specialize on twin turbo Lamborghinis as well as other supercars. They've had humble beginnings working on Hondas, Mitsubishi Evos, and all the meanwhile utilizing Snap-on tools. Let's take a closer look at Sheepy Race. Alex, what's up, man? How you doing, buddy? Good, thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. I understand you're a Honda guy, but you've taken the level of car builds uh, on a bigger budget. Sheepy Race, Sheepy Exotics, what do you guys do here? So we do everything from manufacturing, still Honda stuff. Yeah. Turbo yeah. kits or Hondas, Mitsubishis, Nissans. And then what we did is essentially add more to our lineup. Not just offer for the everyday guy, but more of the guy that's been in motorsports his whole life and then taking it up a couple notches with the Ferraris and Lambos. Yeah. Being that we do come from building turbo kits, we focus on building turbo kits for Lamborghinis essentially. You build everything top to bottom. So we use precision turbos, turbo smart wastegates, CSF uh, radiator cores and intercooler cores. Yeah. Other than that, everything is handcrafted in house and put on the vehicle, tuned in house and everything. How uh, long has Sheep been around? Well, I mean, I started <laughs> messing with cars at 2021. It's been a business, an actual business for about six years. Okay. Yeah, I started out of my garage, just tinkering around, making some parts, right? To yeah. put some extra cash in my pocket. And that quickly blew up. Got a little facility, about 1,200 square feet. Outgrew that, got that building last year, and then got this building in December. So from day one, did you realize there was a difference utilizing snap-on tools as opposed to other tools? Oh, 100%. The biggest thing is when you first start and you don't have a lot of money to buy yeah. things, you know, you gotta be selective of what tools to buy. But as you get going, you realize that these tools make things speed up, quality, things not breaking. You're in the middle of tearing a transmission apart and you have a ratchet that breaks on you. Now you gotta take time out of your day to go replace it. So when you add up all those little things, it's worth the investment just buying quality tools the first hit out. Your vehicle builds are getting more and more expensive and you need a better refined tool, right? Right, I mean, you got, the simple things like the tight areas, the ratchets with very fine gearing, with no slack. Other manufacturers have a lot of slack in the ratchets, yeah. so things like that make a huge difference. All right, so how many technicians do you have? I think there's like 10 to our team. I want to get a tour of the shop, Absolutely. so uh, where, yeah. where should we start? You can go that way, you can go that way. Yep. All right, let's cool. do it. Thanks. Alex, we're back here. What is this called? The service side. Uh, anything that's not being built, anything welded, fabricated, gets done over here. Final assemblies, dyno alignment, wheels and tires, basic servicing, okay. you know, all that stuff. Yeah, so. and got a dyno right behind us too. Yep. Mustang, all wheel drive, 500 series. Got this car, that's your box right there. It's I mean, my it's, personal box, yeah. That, it's kind of the elephant in the room, or the sheepy in the room. GT2 RS, Ferrari, McLaren, Lambo convertible, for another Ferrari, 450, I mean, I mean, it's 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 impressive. So, a Huracan, quarter million dollars. What are we looking at here after all of the sheepy mods like retail? What, what would you sell this thing for? Oh, I, you'll never get back what you put in it. <laughs> I probably have a good hundred thousand in it. Yeah. Right? So about so. about three fifty as it stands. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, let's take a tour of this Absolutely. thing. I mean, yeah. this is your hot rod. I saw you pull up in it. So yeah, it's I'll only show you all about it. it. All right, Alex, let's uh, pop the trunk, yep. the boot, whatever you want to call it, yeah. but uh, boom, this is yeah. the heart of the beast. Got your logos here, what are we looking at? So this thing comes naturally aspirated from factory. We added a pair of precision turbos, some big air to water intercoolers, a lot of titanium, billet intake manifold, big fuel system. The wedge style piping, I think, always just really showcases and highlights. Craftsmanship. Well, there's the craftsmanship, yeah. yeah, and that's kind of what people expect now. There's no real performance gain, it's just cosmetically appealing. Yeah, so we use CSF cores on everything, keep everything cool. Fun mule. The test sheep, whatever right. you want to call it. White like a sheep's wool. So how much horsepower? A little over a thousand of the wheel. Different body kit? Yep, this is a different body kit, different wing. I went with this bumper to be able to exit the pipes where they're at. Very aesthetically pleasing, but it performs. This thing, you said, even this weekend, you kind of turn, turn it up, up the a boost little bit. a little bit. I think I heard it. It's smoking a little, <laughs> which is okay because the engine's got to come out anyways. I'm going to pull the engine, build the engine, build the tranny, and shoot for about 2,000 horsepower. And you have jigs and all that now since you've kind of prototyped or is it Okay, you're not going one off, and that's the most efficient way of doing it. You know, we have jigs for our main packages, but then clearly some people want the custom stuff, and then we could build the custom stuff. Cool. Yeah. And that's done just across the way. Correct. The other building is where we do all the fabrication, all the big builds and everything gets done over there. You'd say it's a little dirtier, Call but- Call it the dirty shop. It, but it's not dirty, let's be quite honest. You're dealing you with these- You let them quarters. judge. <laughs> yeah, right, all right, well, let's check yeah. that out and cool. talk to some other cool. technicians Thanks, as well. Man.
Alex, we're over here on what you call the dirty side. It's still pretty clean, dude. What goes on over here on this side? Everything over here is fabrication, development, taking everything apart, putting it back together, and then doing the button-ups on that side. So anything that's not service-related gets done on this side. All the welding, all the engine fixtures, all the equipment for the cutting. The vehicles look a lot more torn apart over here as opposed to the finished product over there. Correct. It's a little scary to bring a customer <laughs> through this side. But, I mean, this is where the work gets done. Right, right. Yeah, so, Sometimes it scares people. And you have fabrication going on as far as your manifolds and all your piping and turbo and exhaust and all that stuff. Correct. So the production turbo kits get done here. I got sections for that and then the custom stuff or all the exotic stuff and all yeah, that. Yeah. So. so seeing all the exotic stuff, we're seeing Vipers, Corvettes, Evos. That's kind of your roots. Correct. I don't discriminate. If you want to pay the fee, I'll do it. So these <laughs> Vipers are twin turbo Vipers. That Corvette's a big Pro Mod 91 turbo on it. This thing's about a 1200 horsepower Evo. You know, and this is one of our buddies' cars. That's why it's here. I got my hands in a lot of little things. Yeah. You just seem to run a real tight ship and all you guys are young. You got neck tattoos. It's, I, don't know if that, I don't know if that's mandatory. You need a neck tattoo to yeah, work here. Yeah, on an application to ask if you have tattoos. If you don't have any, you're not allowed to get the job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This box over here, who owns this one? That's Johnny. Okay. Elite Tech owns this one. Can we wrap out with Johnny? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's go find Johnny. Johnny, what's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, good, good. Talking to Alex, he says, you're the lead tech. You've only been here for four months. Yeah. You've been in the industry for some time, and you got the neck tattoo. Yeah. I, th yeah, I think I that's standard. That's that's <laughs> our running joke right now. And this is your box. You've had Snap-on tools for how long? 12 years now. Okay, so since you started out, how has your franchisee come into play? Has he kind of assisted you on like something you needed? Many times over, come out of his way on yeah. a day that he doesn't come by, bring us things or overnight us stuff. Definitely had a lot of specialty tools he's got me, timing tools, et cetera. When you utilize as another tool, do you really notice the difference? Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. There's no other wrench that's right. better than the Snap-on wrench. That's cool, and what's your favorite tool? The CTR67 Longhead, this guy right here. Yeah. It's in anywhere, great for crank pulleys, uh, water pumps. I mean, yeah. anything hard to reach, breaks them loose and works well. The shorter head, you know, yeah. so it's, it's really compact. I got two of them. Oh, you have two of them? I have two of them, yeah. So, John, you're kind of jack of all trades, being lead tech. Who else could we wrap out with? Uh, Charlie, definitely. Okay. He's the head fabricator here, and he just comes up with the craziest stuff. Really? Always on point. Do you kind of get inspired and impressed oh, yeah. by Oh, yeah, just seeing yeah. his head work when he starts putting other things, it's just amazing. That's so. cool. Right on. Well, thanks again, man. I'm going to go wrap out with Charlie. Thank you. Charlie. Pleasure to meet you. Better known as Charlie Turbos. Why is that? Because I love turbos. <laughs> you got one on your I arm. I got turbos yeah. on my arm. I work on turbos. Everything in my life is turbos. This thing's awesome. So you fabricated this? Yeah, I fabricated this whole setup here. This is a Lamborghini Huracan kit. And you do everything here first, then you install in the car. Correct. So I build everything off of this fixture here. Once it's all finished, I take it all apart. We send it out, get coated. When it comes back, I reassemble it here. Yeah. And at that point, I unbolt it, carry it over to the car, and we install it as one unit. It looks slick, man. Just the level of refinement and details. You kind of pride yourself with that. Oh, yeah. I'm very big on cosmetics and everything being symmetrical. So we use the precision mirror image turbos, which allows me to keep everything the same on both sides. So if you look at this side compared to that side, it's essentially the same yeah. thing. It looks awesome. Your customers demand a great product, right? And they're paying top dollar. They need it quick. Efficiency is key, right? And snap-on tools saves time, right? Oh, absolutely. It makes everything much faster. With the 14 volt stuff, when I go to tighten a bolt, get it done quick. If I was using a ratchet, it's gonna take me longer. Yeah. Every minute adds up. This is your box right yes, here? Yes, yeah, this is my box. It's stacked too, man. Yeah, you have a ton of the instinct handle stuff. This hand tool drawer is stacked, man. Yeah, I'm a neat freak with tools. Everything's gotta go back in its spot, it's gotta be clean. I want it there when I have it, and I want it to look good when I'm using yeah. it. You're nearing completion here and about to mount it up to the car, right? A couple bolts more, we're gonna tighten it up, walk it over, and install it on the car. Thank you so much for your time. What's another tech we can wrap out with? Oh, uh, let's go talk to Nick. Nick's a good guy. He does a little bit of everything. He's like the Nick of all trades. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's catch up with Nick. Cool. Nick, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? Nice to meet you. Uh, white, right out of the gate. Just got to call it out. You look like you get your hands dirty. Yeah, yeah, sometimes, occasionally. What's going on with this one? We're getting ready to assemble it and put the twin turbo kit that we just finished up for it yeah. on the car. When were you introduced to Snap-on? Five, six years ago, yeah. seven years ago, so a long time ago. You grew up utilizing other competitive tools or other competitive tools? No, I kind of just jumped right into Snap-on. I never had to go through a lesser tool really? phase. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, it was nice. nice, it was nice. Your first car was a Lambo, you work with Snap-on. <laughs> <laughs> what tool do you find most commonly in your hand? Probably that guy right there. Go and grab it. Oh, this guy? 
So this is the get stuff done tool. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. It makes things tidy. Yeah. Get stuck things untied. Metaphorically speaking, it's kind of like you. Charlie said he's the Nick of all trades. Yeah, yeah. Kind of does exactly. it all. So you guys are pushing boundaries of the shop. How do Snap-on tools help you guys execute that for your customers? The quality of the tools, we don't ever really have to worry about breaking them or yeah. anything we've needed so far you guys supply us with. Yeah, you and this thing, it's got to be done by tonight. And you bang them out in a week. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> in that case, I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. <laughs>